Let's talk now about ventilator trigger and excuse my draw but this is a ventilator here and this is the inspiratory and expiratory limb and this is the ET tube here going into the patient. Let's assume this patient is paralyzed that he cannot contract his respiratory muscle which means he cannot initiate any breath. If the ventilator just continued listening to the signal coming from the patient, the ventilator will not get any signal from the patient. And the patient then will not receive any breath. That's why we always have a ventilator trigger as a backup a trigger. In case the patient is not initiating any breath, the patient we guarantee him a minimum amount of breath let's see here we gave the patient 10 breaths per minute we told the ventilator we need to give this patient 10 breaths per minute so the ventilator now is smart enough to say okay 60 seconds divided by 10 breaths per minute that means there is one breath every six seconds so the ventilator now is smart enough to say okay now i'm gonna wait for six seconds listening to any signal from the patient if i don't any tri if i don't if i do not get any trigger from the patient by six seconds that means i need to go and deliver a full breath to the patient and this breath is triggered and delivered by the ventilator and we call this kind of breath is control breath because it was initiated and delivered by the ventilator and as you can see this is mainly a backup mechanism a backup rate so this patient at minimum will get 10 breaths per minute now as you said we call it control breath now as you could see if this patient was not paralyzed and was breathing or initiating 15 breaths on his own per minute that mean every 2.5 seconds sorry every um just divided 16 by every four seconds sorry i'm sorry every four second the patient initiating a breath so right here every four second the patient initiating a breath what happened the ventilator every time there is a breath initiated before the six seconds it will reset back to zero listening again for six seconds so if the patient here breathing 15 breaths on his own all the breath will be patient triggered all the breath will be assessed breath and he will have zero control breath because he always initiated breath before the six second breaths so that's what ventilator trigger very important to remember or um that there is no point if you have somebody breathing 15 already and uh, on his own triggering 15 breaths per minute and the ventilator set at 10 breaths per minute there is no point increasing the respiratory rate on the ventilator to 12 or 13 because the patient already breathing at 15 so if you're trying to increase respiratory rate to add any benefit you should go above 15 you should make this from six seconds to less than four seconds otherwise the patient already breathing at 15 but if you make it 18 at the ventilator the patient will be guaranteed at least 18 breaths per minute.